happens okay 2020 okay so i hope all of you will be much more motivated compared to last to last year okay let me introduce myself i'm teacher hazlin there will be another three other english teachers who will be teaching you they are teacher normazlina teacher ashnevi okay she's a new teacher but she has a lot of experience in teaching english and also teacher linda n so the four of us will be teaching form 3 this year okay should you have any question you may unmute your mic okay and then you can ask any questions to me so for this first session it's only meant for 3a 3b 3C and also 3, 3D. Okay. You're going to be here with me from 9 until 9.45. And then 9.45 to 10.30. Okay. 9.45 to 10.30. Okay. You have to go to Google Classroom. Okay. So in that Google Classroom, you will see three tasks. Task one, two, and three. Okay, so um, you try to answer all the questions and then you turn in. It's either you write in your exercise book, you update your index, or you use Google Doc. Okay, but in your exercise book, still you need to write the index. Okay, and then at the remark column, you write refer to Google Classroom. So at 10.20, there will be attendance link. Attendance, mean, uh, attendance link means you will see Google form. Okay, so you have to stay, remain in that Google Classroom until 10.30. Until the Google form release in the Google Classroom. Okay, let allow me to speak in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, kelas 3 angsana beringin cendana damar. You're going to be with me bersama cikgu dalam Google Meet from 9 until 9.45. Selepas 9.45, okay, all of you go to Google Classroom. Okay, so ada tiga task. Task 1, 2 dan 3. Dan pada jam 10.20, 10 ke 10.30, okay, Google Form akan muncul dalam Google Classroom. So awak isi attendance link, which is very important. That is your assessment for PBD. Okay. Are you clear with my instruction? Yes, I go. Faham ke? Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so here are the rules uh, in my classroom. Google Meet classroom. Uh. So number one, please show up at the correct time and stay in the meet for the entire time. Memang betul, okay. I want you to off your mic and also your camera, okay? Because I'm afraid um, there will be um, technical problem or internet problem, okay? Mm. But you have to stay in front of your PC or in front of your uh, handphone all the time whenever you have class with me because I can't see you. But this year is very important year, okay? Who might know that you might sit for your PT3 exam. Number two, attendance will be taken by teacher or uh, my assistant. Okay, teacher must not be helping me today. Number three, find a quiet place away from distractions such as your siblings, your TV, pets and also other distractions. Distractions mean gangguan-gangguan lain. Eh? Number four, mute your microphone until you are called upon to speak or okay, you are Unmute. Number five, if you are called upon to speak, unmute your microphone so that we can hear your un answer. Okay, which is very important. You must participate in the discussion. Okay, it's a signal to me that you understand things that I've thought. Okay, kena bantu cikgu untuk uh, jawab soalan-soalan atau berdiskusi in the Google Meet so that satu sign pada cikgu bahawa awak faham. Okay. Number six, if you have a question, put in the chat, okay? Tak nak terlalu banyak, okay? Nonsense uh, in the Google Meet. Any questions, you unmute, you ask properly, or if you are shy enough, 
just type your question dekat chat bar. Number seven, keep the sidebar chat on topic. Eight, if you're responding to another student in the chat, write their name before us, respond. Okay, use proper English language. Okay, no harsh words here. Okay, because I'm recording this um, Google Meet to be shared in the SMK SPS YouTube channel. Okay, number nine, refrain from eating food in front of the camera just in case. And number 10, hang up at the end of the meeting. So I hope you will follow all the rules given here. Okay. So now let us look at the topics that you are going to study. If you have your digital textbook, you may refer to your English digital textbook. Okay, so there are many sources that you can get the link to the digital English form 3 digital textbook. Okay, one of the platforms is that you can go to uh, Delima. Delima means referring to your Google Classroom. You will see digital textbook. Okay, so you shouldn't have any problems when you do your homework. Okay, so the first unit you're going to study about family, family ties. Okay, so in this unit, you're going to talk about your family, mother, father, relationship. Okay, and then uh, you have to describe certain photos. Unit two is about food. Okay, talk about food, talk about restaurants, and then you learn how to write a review of a restaurant. So in this unit, they'll give you a sample and then you just follow the sample um, based on the language given in that topic. Next, unit three. Unit three, you're going to study about the wonders of nature. So what is that wonders of nature? Okay, you're going to discuss with your teacher about the envi environment. Okay, unit four, special relationship. Okay, so I'll talk about relationships and then on how you come up with a few solutions to solve the pro problems. Okay, maybe friends, a uh, friend with friend or parent with a child. Okay. Unit five, a place to call a, a home. Okay, you need five, a place to call a home. We're going to discuss about different types of homes. Okay, all over the countries. What about unit six? Okay, unit six is about ready, steady, and go. So what is that? Okay, so basically you're going to talk about sports. Okay, sports that you know, sports that you like. Okay. Unit 7 is about extreme situation. Okay. Extreme situation. Do you know what is extreme? Okay. What is extreme? Apa itu extreme? Anyone knows? Uh, okay. Okay. Something is beyond or sometimes you're able to control the situa situation, okay, or scenario or condition, okay. You need eight, time to spare. Time to spare, you talk about your free time activity, okay, your free time activities. What do you like to do? Okay, so during this MCO, what are the activities that you like to do besides learning, okay? Maybe you have your indoor games, okay? Now, you need nine to talk about high-tech world, okay? Talk about gadgets, technology, okay? You need ten, that's entertainment, okay? Uh, so, you're going to discuss about entertainment that you know types of music, types of instruments, okay? Then unit 11, reason to learn. Okay, talk about school and education in Malaysia and also other kind, other countries. Okay, and then um, unit 12, okay, the beautiful body. Okay, you're going to talk about your physical 
body and the importance of taking, taking care of your body. Okay, so what are the skills that you're going to acquire this year? Okay, so as you all know that since form one, you have to acquire these four skills, okay? You're going to um, know on how to read, okay? How to write, listen well, and also to speak. So, there are four skills, reading, writing, listening, and also speaking, okay? So, try your best to acquire all these four skills in order for you to get band six, okay? For PP3. Okay, so these are the essays that you are going to cover this year. Okay, number one, okay, we're going to refresh back your memory on how to write your email. Okay, so in paper two, okay, there are many types of um, short communicative essay that you are going to write. So one of them is E. Email. Beside email, you have what else do we have? Oh, Skype, um, notes or message. Am I right? Notes or message. Okay. If you have any questions, you can write at the chat bar so that teacher can answer. Yang tak paham boleh tulis itu ya. Are you still with me? Okay, thank you, Koyum. Okay, number AC2 is uh, the technique on how to write a review of a restaurant. Okay, so how to write a review of a restaurant. There will be a sample in your text, textbook. So you don't have to worry. It's just that the technical part is that you have to follow the language structure given in that unit. Okay. AC3, okay. You have to uh, recall back the technique of writing informal letter whereby you have the sender's address, the response address, date, okay? Uh, what else? Salutation, introduction, content, towards the end, you have the ending, salutation, signing off, okay? So, we're going to refresh back your memory on the technique of informal letter, okay? Besides that, the next essay, you're going to learn uh, how to write a story. Okay, so in your textbook, they will give you a very short story, sample of short story, but you're not going to write that short. Okay, it's just only a sample, a guidance. So at least you know what you are going to write. Okay, in the real situation, PD3, as usual, I always mention, okay, you have to write one and a half pages. Try your best to write one and a half pages. Because you are PP3 from 3, no longer from 1 or from 2. So the standard, okay, has to follow the PP3 format. Okay, number 5, okay, postcard. So postcard might be appear in your PP3 besides email, besides uh, notes or message or besides review. Okay, review could be in paper 2, question number 1. Okay. And then you also need to learn on how to write report writing. Okay, so they'll give you the format and just follow the format. Okay, the technical part is that you have to follow the language structure given in that unit. There are certain uh, sentences that you have to include when you write report writing. Okay, the last essay to cover this year is on how to write a dramatic story. So how to write a dramatic story, don't worry, okay, they'll give you the sample in that textbook, okay, and then we're going to focus on how to use the adjective and also the ad, the adverb, to make your story much more interesting. So that is about your essays. So inshallah, we're going to cover all these seven essays, okay. Okay, next. Okay, so this is actually about your grammar. Okay. First, okay, we're going to cover countable and uncountable. Okay, I'm sure that you still remember. 
Okay, what is it my countable and also un uncountable. Okay, things that you can count, countable, cannot count, uncountable. But we still need to study because it's in the syllabus this year. Okay, next. Okay, remember on how to use used to, when to use would. Okay, when to use be used to and also get used to. So what is the difference between be used to and also get used to. Okay, so you're going to learn this, okay, with me and also with your English teacher this, this year. And then refresh back the usage of articles. What are the rules when we use a, and the, or no need to use one of the articles. Right, a, and the, or no need to use at all of these three articles. So what is that temporal? Okay, so it's in your textbook. You're going to study that. Don't miss this lesson, temporal. What is that? And then future tense. Okay, so future tense means uh, relate with present tense, past tense, uh, present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and also other tense, other tenses. Okay, so we're going to revise back. Uh, not only present continuous tense or future tense, but we're going to revise back past tense, present tense, present perfect tense, past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense, present perfect continuous tense, or so many tenses. Okay. And then the next grammar that you are going to cover this year is about second conditional if. Okay, you have learned in form one, form two, if I'm not mistaken, zero conditional if and also first conditional if. But form three, you're going to study about second conditional if. Uh, so you refresh back your memory. What is that first? Sec a conditional if, zero conditional if, and now form three, second conditional if. Okay, next question text. What is that question text? Okay, basically you have to use the WH question questions. And then you have to change that into normal sen sentence. Okay, if there is no Chan Shen Wing, if there is no digital textbook in the Delimas website, okay, okay, go just Google from the internet, the search in the just type English uh, form three digital textbook. Uh, so they'll give you so many links. Okay, next. You need eight models and semi-models. What is that models? Models mean model verbs. What is that semi-models? So what's the difference between model verbs and semi-models? Apa bezanya? Model verbs and semi-models. Okay, and then next. Okay, you're going to study about passive voice. Okay, gerunds, infinitive and also model, model verbs. Okay. What is that passive voice? What's the difference between gerunds and infinitive? Okay, why are we learning model verbs here again? What's the relationship for this model verbs with all these three? Passive voice, gerunds, and also infinitive. Okay? And then reported speech. How to use reported speech? Reported speech is important because remember, here, one of the AC, ah, uh, you have to write a report, okay? So in order to write the report, you need to know on how to use the reported speech, okay? So there are rules, okay, to use reported speech. You are going to see this again in Form 3 syllabus, uh, okay? Next, gerunds, okay? So here you have gerunds and again you have to Study deeper about the run. See, it's very important, these two things. Okay, it's the same actually. Okay, but this one is much more deeper. And the last grammar for this year, okay, students are able to use comparison of adjective and also comparison of ad adverbs. Okay. Basic knowledge about adjective is to help the noun. Adverbs is to help the verb. Okay. So there are 12. Okay. So we try our best to cover all these 12. Okay. What about the vocabulary? Okay. 
So you're going to learn on collocations. Okay, what is collocation? Examples of collocation words. Okay, and then we revise back prepositions. How many types of prepositions? How to use certain prepositions in sentences? Okay, and also phrasal verbs. Okay, phrasal verbs is almost similar to collocate, collocations. Okay. Okay, we move on to pentaksiran bilik darjah, which is very important, sangat-sangat penting. Okay, it is to determine you next year for form, form 4. Ah, bukannya, oh tak apa, it's okay, no, it's very important. Okay, if you want to be in a pure science classes. Okay. So, pentaksiran bilik darjah, okay, teacher could assess you through online and offline. So that's why when we give you the link, when we give you the homework, you must complete those homework. Okay, it's a signal for us that um, you can achieve higher band. Okay, but if you don't do the work or tak buat homework, so your band will be the decrease. So dapatlah band rendah, band 3, band 4. Okay, at the end of this year, all of you must achieve band 6. Ujung tahun ni, semua murid tingkatan tiga mestilah dapat band 6 for English. Okay, so that is our target. Okay, so how to assess? Yes, true, we cannot see you face to face. But we can assess you throughout your uh, discussion in online, your submitting of homework, your attitude towards your homework, your attitude towards the uh, discussion in GMIT. Uh, semua sikap-sikap positif ni adalah pentaksiran bilik darjah. So, apakah PBD? Okay, pentaksiran bilik darjah PBD merupakan pentaksiran yang berterusan dalam sesi pengajaran dan pelajaran bagi mendapatkan maklumat tentang perkembangan, kemajuan, kebolehan dan pencapaian murid. Si, uh, So, assessment start today. Okay, bukannya tomorrow ke next week. No, it starts today. So PBD berlaku secara formatif which is now Google Meet and also Google Classroom. Okay. Dan sumatif there will be a uh, pentaksiran soon. Okay. When you have face to face with us in school. Sebagai pembelajaran untuk pembelajaran dan tentang pembelajaran. Okay. So it's very important. Jangan cakap tak penting lah. Penting. Okay. Bagaimana PBD dilaksanakan? How? PBD dilaksanakan secara berterusan sepanjang proses PDP and also PDPR. Okay, sepanjang tahun. PBD dilaksanakan di pelbagai kaedah pentaksiran seperti observation, pemerhatian. Yes, okay. You submit your homework. Asyik orang yang sama je submit homework. GC meaning she's very good or he's very good. Okay, very positive attitude. Okay, and then participate in discussion. Okay, so itu yang sikap-sikap uh, yang positif yang baik lah. Okay, so your teacher will give you higher, higher band. Okay, your writing, penulisan. Okay, it's true. Your submitting work in the Google Classroom and also you always update your index. Okay, in your exercise, exercise book. Okay, and then listen orally discussion. Okay, kalau ini kerja projek, quiz. Yes, yeah, sometimes teacher share quizzes lah, okay. Um, apa lagi? Okay, you will see that, okay. Perbentangan, presentation and also other active learning activities, okay. Following standard prestasi dan pertimbangan professional guru. Uh, kalau awak bagus dalam semua segi ni, professional judgement ni. Di hujung tahun, cikgu, your English teacher will give you band 5 or band, band 6. Okay, uh, so become a new you. Jangan jadi the old form one, old form two. Okay, banyak main je. Because this year have to be serious. Okay, even though we cannot uh, meet each other. So that is not our obstacle. Bukan halangan ya. Uh, nak cari ilmu, kita kena usaha. Okay, nak pandai pun kena usaha. Okay, jangan jadi dia hala, hala dengan oh cikgu tak ada depan mata lah susah nak belajar no. Okay, that is not a good attitude. Okay. Okay, so now look at the format of PT3. Okay, ini format lah. 
format anda Let us revise back Cikgu akan revise back Ravjiko, I cannot repeat my lesson But you can check my recording uh, Google Meet in uh, SMK SBS YouTube channel Okay, sebab cikgu dah set Until now 45 nanti the second group will be joining me Okay, so format instrument PT3 Mulai tahun 2019 so far uh, Kementerian tak tukar lagi Okay, so kertas satu, your code is 12 stroke 1 Which is your paper 1, kertas satu Okay, so pemahaman You have your pemahaman Okay, reading and use of English Okay, jenis item Objektif aneka, pilihan And then uh, Objektif pelbagai, bentuk OPB Subject response Ah, uh, Ini jawab secara individu Okay, what about bilangan soalan? So, you have how many sections? Five sections. Bahagian one, short text, MCQ. You have eight questions. Bahagian two, you have eight questions. Bahagian three, eight questions. Bahagian four, okay, short answer. Okay, ten questions. Questions bahagian five. Matching, six questions. Questions. Okay, so far, tiada lagi perubahan setakat ni. If there is a change, if there is a change, we're going to inform you. Okay, and then kertas dua, your code is 12 stroke 2. It's ujian bertulis but uh, cover page you will see penulisan by right, it's a writing paper. Okay, so jenis item, subjective, respon terhad. And then subjective respond terbuka So what is that subjective respond terhad Ini details dia Okay for bahagian one Short communicative message You will see one question It's either email Postcard, note, message Or review Tadi yang review cikgu terangkan tadi kan You have to write a review of restaurant ke You have to write a review of certain food uh, Okay and then section 2, you have notes expansion. They'll give you one question. Uh, ini tadi a subjective response terbuka. Okay. Examples, report writing tadi. Uh, or um, informal letter. Or a story. Or dramatic story. Ya, tak tadi yang kita kena cover tu. Uh, okay. And then paper uh, 3. Your code is 12 stroke 3. 12 stroke 3 Okay Teacher Mazina uh, has, just, has just joined Maybe she can help me To answer a few questions Dekat chat bar Okay So this is your speaking paper Okay Subjective response terhad Subjective response terbuka So this is berpasangan Okay uh, so you have here bahagian one. Okay, it's interview. Interview, remember, um, it's like a, a warming session with your teacher. Example, um, what is your name? Uh, what your favorite sport? Or what do you do after school hours? Okay, simple questions like that. It's, it's more to uh, warm up session, a uh, warming session, okay, before you discuss further in section two and section three. So, section two is individual prompt card story, it's a storytelling. Satu soalan to setiap calon. Remember, teacher will give you uh, two pictures. Student A will get uh, the first series of pictures, student two will get series of pictures. When student A describe about the picture, students do need to what? Need to get ready to answer the question about student A speak picture. You see, remember the format? Ada dua calon kan? Ada dua calon. Calon A akan diberi satu siri gambar. Calon B akan diberi satu siri gambar juga. And then, calon A akan mula bercerita tentang gambar tu. Calon B kena bersedia untuk jawab gambar yang ada pada calon A. Uh, so that is bahagian two. Allow me to speak dual languages um, because you have students from 3A, B, C and D. Okay, next bahagian because I want semua faham. Semua orang faham tentang format. Okay, bahagian three, discussion task. Okay, remember, um, they'll give you my map. Okay, bubble map, bubble map. 
and then few small sub uh, bubbles. Okay, and then you have to discuss, assign those bubbles to your friends. Okay, I'll take four, you take four, and then you have to decide one most important item at the end of the discussion. Okay, ingat tak ada gambar um, bubble map tu, lepas tu ada bulat-bulat tu, lepas tu ada, let's say you have eight bubbles, small eight bubbles, and then um, kata ada lapan small eight bubbles, uh, student A ambil empat, student B ambil empat lagi. Uh, and then you discuss, okay, ada agree, disagree, agree, disagree, towards the end you have to decide which one is the best item. Uh, okay. Kertas 4. Okay, kertas 4, your code is 12 through 4 is your listening paper. Okay, so objective aneka pilihan, objective pelbagai bentuk. So this one is individu. Okay, so we have bahagian 1, uh, 3 options. They'll give you MCQ, sorry, they give you MCQ question. And then you will see five questions in section one. Section two, also five questions. Section three, five questions. Section four, you have to complete the bagi nota-nota pendek sikit and then you have to fill in the gaps. So five questions, bagian five also more or less a dialogue. Macam bagi dialogue, fill in the blank. So you have to complete the, the blank. Okay. Okay, so now look at the marks. Markah ni penting ah, because it's your strategy. Okay, ha, kita kena tahu markah so that we know how to get A. Bahagian 1, okay, 8 marks. 2, bahagian 2, 8 marks. Bahagian 3, 8 marks. 4, 10 marks. 5, 6 marks. So all together, 40. 40 marks for this paper, 1 hour and 15 minutes. Mesti tahu setiap kertas ni berapa jam, berapa markah, hafal from now. Okay, so when we meet face to face, jangan tanya cikgu lagi, your English teacher cikgu, paper 1, berapa minit, teacher, what is the total score? Ah, okay, nak hafal from now, so that you know on how to get A. Get A ke get B, but don't target to get B or E. Okay, ah. Something wrong with your brain kalau you target D or E. Okay, target A or B. Okay, and then kertas tu bahagian 1, 20 marks. Bahagian 2, 20 marks, 40 marks. Ingat, paper 2, 40 marks. Okay, your total hours for that paper is 1 hour only. Ah, uh, Kertas 1, you bagi 15 minutes extra. Okay, paper 2, 1 hour. Okay, why? Two questions, tak ada literature. Uh, because you have no literature tadi kan cik cakap ada dua bahagian je. Okay, kertas three. Okay, pentaksir we call it interlocutor. Just remember this terminology or this term. Okay, interlocutor mean reference to pentaksir. Pentaksir referring to your English teacher. Okay, so your English teacher, okay, will give you five marks. Like myself, I'm teaching three jati, three gaharu. So cikgu akan bagi lima markah atau empat markah, tiga markah. The second assessor, cikgu English yang lain, maybe cikgu Linda, let's like say cikgu Linda, my second assessor, so dia akan evaluate you, maybe dia bagi you full mark, 15 ke 14 ke 10, uh, up to her. Okay, total score for paper 3 is 20 marks. Duration, semua proses bahagian 1 until 3 is 11 minutes. Bukan setiap orang tu one section 11 minutes, tak. For this one uh, paper 3, dari mula cikgu interview tadi, Okay, until you decide one best item, bahagian 3 tu 11 minutes. Ah, Jangan panic. Okay. And then paper 4 is your listening. Okay. So each section 5 marks. So total 25 marks. Kertas ni hanya 35 minutes. 35 minutes sahaja. Okay. So take care of your, take good care of your ears sir, from now on. Okay. So, I would like to emphasize, ingat ni, total score ni and then also the duration so that you know on how to set your strategy from now. Jangan tanya lagi cikgu, English awak, berapa makan ni cikgu, berapa makan kata dua cikgu, masa ah, tak nak-tak dah. Okay, from now, tolong ingat. Okay, now we move on to family ties. Okay. 
So what is family? Do you know what is family? How do you define family? Mm -hmm. How will you define family? Who are the members in the family? Siapa ahli-ahli dalam family? Yes, Nuri Idina is your loved one. Lagi? Who are they in the family? Siapa lagi ada dalam keluarga kita? We have mother, father, kan? Okay. So look at here, you will see this in your Google Classroom. Kita buat sikit je sini ya. Nanti awak pergi ke, you go to your Google Classroom and then you complete all these tasks. Okay, cikgu boleh. I'm going to charge like one or two here from here. Okay, task one, this is task one, write the relationship. Example, Bill. Where is Bill? Kita tengok sini, we have George, Mary, Martha, Michael. Okay, so George, Mary. Okay, so they have uh, children. Michael, Tom and also Law, Laura. So Michael married to Martha, Laura married to Henry. Okay, for this couple, Martha and Ma Michael, they have three children. They are Hannah, Rachel, David, uh, Laura and Henry. They have two children, Bill and also Sue. Okay, so let's look at the example. Bill is Henry's son. Betul ke? Bill. Where is Bill? Bill, okay. Bill is Henry's Sign. Okay, betul. Okay, let us try number one ni. Eh? David is Mary. Siapa boleh jawab? Who can answer? Where is David? David. Okay, David and then here Mary. Mary. So David is. Can you write your answer dekat chat bar tu? Okay, so David is Mary's. David wrote as grand, grand sign. Okay, correct. Betul. Okay, number two ni Tom is Laura siapa? You may unmute if you want to speak. Kalau tak selesa, you can just write in the chat bar. Is that Tavendra and anyone else? Okay, Nuri Edina, brother. Okay, Fatih, brother. Koyum, sibling. Uh, Koyum, uh, not, uh, we have siblings here. We have option sibling here. Tak ada lah Koyum. Kita ambil options from here. Father ni, mother up until grandchildren. Answers in the box kat sini. Okay, brother. Samuel. Okay, Durga. Fika. Okay, good. Koyum. Alright. So, you will complete this task in your Google Classroom later. Okay, cikgu satu sikit je. Okay, next. Oops. Uh, so, here are the answers. Tak nak tengok jawapan. So, what can you tell me about this hand? What can you tell me about this hand? They are in different genera generation. Am I right? I, oh. One is old, one is much more young, younger. Okay, to summarize, they are in different genera generations. Okay, so here are the different generations. Look at the silent generation. Okay, look at the year, baby boomers. Okay, generation, generation X, generation Y, and generation Z or Z. Okay, you are here. You are generation Z or Z. Okay, I'm here. Generation Y. Okay. Okay, so you can guess my my age right now. Okay. Next. Okay, so uh, if you refer to your digital textbook, it's on page 6. Okay. So later in your Google Classroom, you're going to read this. Okay. Number 1, number 2. And then, okay. You also need to read number three and number number four. You will see this in your Google Classroom. We don't stop here. You go to Google Classroom. Jangan sambung tidur ah, pergi Google Classroom because your class is until 10, 10 30. Okay. And then you will see link dekat Google Classroom. Okay. I'm not going to share link kat sini. Okay, in Google Classroom. Dia akan muncul. 10, 10, 20, okay. The Google form will appear in Google uh, Classroom. Cikgu dah set. 10, 20, 10, 25 dia akan keluar. Okay, your Google Classroom link. So, isi ya. Wajib isi. Okay, tips on reading the exam question. Okay, you also will see the tips. Okay, when you see the question in exam, apa kena buat? Number one, is good idea to read the exam sentences very carefully before you read the text. Okay, baca soalan. Okay, before you read the text. Or you read the text and then you read the question. 
Number two, underline the keywords in each statement so you know what information you need to look for. So there are many words. You only need to underline important words. Okay. Uh, each paragraph, you look for important words. Don't line all the words or all the sentences in the text. Three, then read the text quickly so you know what is it about. Okay. Next, read the text again, baca lagi and look for words and phrases in the text that are similar to the word you underline in each exam sentence. Okay, next, the statements are in the same order as the informations in the, in the text. Okay. Okay, task two, once done, you've done task one, you do task two. Okay, refer in the textbook, the tulis to task D. Okay, so you're going to answer question one ni sampai lah question uh, ten. Okay. Uh, glance there, later you check. Okay, so task three, find the underlying words in the text and choose the correct meaning. Sekarang ni pun awak akan jawab in your Google Classroom. What is take after? What is look like? Pass down. Relative. Find out. Look for. Uh, take after. To follow somebody ke? To be like somebody. So all these phrases tadi dekat dalam text. That longer text before. Okay. Okay next. Uh, okay. Here, here are the answers actually. Tapi tengok langsung so. Okay. So your homework you have to do. Uh, task 1, 2 Lo Afwan ni the second session ke? Budak ni? Kalau second session belum lagi ni Okay, do task 1, 2 and 3 in your chest pen or in your previous grammar exercise book. If you don't have your chest pen, use previous grammar exercise book. Awak dah buang ke? Jangan buang lah. You have not yet set for PT3 Ah, macam nak boleh buang lah Jangan buang ya your um, writing book, grammar book kan yang last year you can use. Okay, unless terlibat banjir ke tak apalah you use a new book. Okay, TL banjir ke? Ada kan? Okay, so you don't have your previous exercise book, you use your chest pen. Write the index. Mesti tulis index. Okay, you're using your textbook, compulsory to have your index. Okay, the first two pages macam biasalah. The first two pages. You have number, topic, task and dates. Okay. Whenever you submit or turn in your G, GC. And then snap your work or submit in your Google Classroom. Maksudnya, you do your homework in your exercise book. Dah ada index semua. And then the first two pages again. First two pages to index. Mm -hmm. And then you snap, snap and then share dalam Google Classroom. Okay. Second choice nak guna Google Doc boleh? Awak guna Google Doc. Okay, you submit. Okay, jangan tukar pada PDF. Cikgu susah nak semak PDF. So, bila dah submit, still kena update in your exercise book. Okay. Uh. Alright. So, dekat dalam slide cikgu, in the Google Classroom, you will see cara nak on how to write your index. Okay. So, now... Go to GC and complete the three tasks. Don't forget to fill in the Google form at 10.20. Macam itulah 10.20, 10.25, 10.30. Okay. Because Google Classroom punya masa tak sama dengan kita. Okay. For your attendance. Okay. You may leave the Google Meet now. Okay. Students from next session will be here. Okay. See you in GC. Cikgu akan monitor dekat GC. Okay, you may leave the GMIT now, go to GC. Tinggalkan GC, pergi ke, eh, tinggalkan GMIT now, go to GC, Google Classroom. Okay, thank you students. Cikgu tengok, cikgu akan monitor dekat GC. Mami nak guna kelas. Okay, students 3A, B, C, D. You may leave the Jimmy. Now go to Google Classroom. So we are welcoming students from 3, uh, 3 Gaharu. 
jati, kering and meranti. Membekal tenaga dalam kondisi yang banyak. Okay, welcome students. Please go to Google Classroom. Membekal tenaga dalam kondisi yang banyak. Okay, I'm welcoming students from Tri Gaharu, Jati, Kering and Meranti to be here now with me in Google, Google Meet. For the second session, 9.45, men for Tri Gaharu, Jati, Kering and Meringin, A and Meranti.
Okay, good morning. For the second group, three gaharu, three jati, three keruing and rusu, three meran, meranti. Have you written down your name at the chat bar? Please do that now. Tak ada yang tulis lagi ni. Okay, thank you, Syed Naufal. Okay, so this is how I'm going to conduct my GMIT and also my GC because you are so many, 171. Total from 3 this year, 171. Okay, soon becoming more to our school. Okay. Uh, InsyaAllah, we're going to carry out. If there is other good strategies, I uh, will inform you from time to time. So just now you were in Google Classroom. Okay. So have you completed task 1, 2 and 3? Have you completed task 1, 2 and 3? Siap tak tadi? Sempat siap tak? Okay, good. Okay. So now here we're going to discuss the answers. Uh, kat sana tak discuss answers. Here in Google Meet we're going to discuss the answers. And besides that, you're also going to look at the syllabus, uh, format, okay, and also others lah. Uh, so jangan leave the Google Meet and also Google Classroom. Okay. There are things not in Google Classroom but there will be something in Google Meet. Macam tu je there will be things in Google uh, Google Meet okay, and also Google Classroom. So you have to join both mediums, Google Meet and also Google Classroom. Okay, so 9.45 to 10.30, you are with me and at the end you will see the attendant link at the chat bar. It's either teacher Mazina will share or myself. Okay. So, jangan tinggalkan Google Meet sehingga ada attendance link which is very important for your assessment. Okay, so here are the rules. Mesti ingat peraturan ni when you are with me. Okay, because I'm serious. This is form 3. Form 3 means that taking PT, PT 3. No hanky-panky. It is serious year. Okay, our objective, our mission is to make sure that all of you will get band 6 for PBD and also will get A for your English. Uh, you don't have that mindset all oh, because we cannot see the teacher, we cannot meet the teacher. No, yes, we are aware of the COVID-19. We're aware that you can uh, meet face-to-face -face with the teacher but this obstacle you have to put aside. Okay, we have to live in a new norm. Kena hiduplah dengan cara baru. Okay, so jangan jadikan alasan. Okay, number one, please show up at the correct time and stay in the mid for the entire time. Okay, and then attendance will be taken. Okay, how? Because I'm using the Google, uh, Google form. Okay, number three, find a quiet place away from distraction, uh, distraction such as siblings, TV, pets and also others. Okay, it's important for you to mute your microphone until you are called upon to speak. Why teacher? Because sometimes live, okay. Uh, my internet sometimes not really strong as what you have at your home, okay. Like for this week, I'm working from home. Next week, that five days, I'll be in school. You tahu lah internet sekolah macam mana. Okay, you have to share with other teachers in school. Okay, uh, next week itu mesti sekat-sekat. So that's why you have to mute your microphone. Okay. Yeah, and also my your mic. Uh, your camera. Okay. If you are called upon to speak, unmute your microphone so we can hear. Okay. Six, if you have a question, put it at the chat bar. Yang malu-malu tu boleh lah tulis kat chat bar. Okay. But it is good if you can speak with me during the discussion. Keep the sidebar chat on topic. Okay. Um, don't talk about something else, okay? Talk about the topic that discuss, that being discussed in the Google Meet. Jangan cerita benda lain because I don't like. Kita fokus je pada topik kita nak belajar. If you are responding to another student in the chat, write their name before response. Refrain from eating food in front of the camera, okay? Hang up at the end of the Meet. Uh, okay, next. Okay, so here are the topics that you're going to study. Yeah? 
syllabus English syllabus for form three. Number one, right today you're going to study about family ties. Okay, first skill kita buat hari ni is re reading. Okay, family ties. Okay, about family, how many family members, who are the family members. Okay, you have to describe the photos. You need to, you talk about the food. Okay, food, restaurants and also in this topic, you learn on how to write a review of a restaurant. And perhaps a review of uh, food that you like, okay, review of interesting places. Okay, we'll see. But it has to relate with food because this topic is about food. Okay, you need three, the wonders of nature. Okay, you're trying to talk about environment. Okay, what are the uh, wonders that we have in the world? Okay, you need four, special relationship. Okay, and then in this topic, you learn how to come up with the solutions for certain problems. Okay, you need five, a place to call a home. Okay, we discuss about different types of homes. Okay, what sort of home you are living right now? Okay, we need six, ready, steady and go. So from this topic, we already know it's talk about uh, sports. Okay, indoor and also outdoor sports. You need seven, extreme situation. Okay, you need eight, time to spare. Time to spare, meaning that talking about your free time activities, Right, like now during this MCO, what are your favorite activities at home? Of course, early in the morning, you'll be what you'll be having online with most of the subject teachers. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? Because it's a new norm. Okay. You need nine high tech world. Talk about uh, technology, gadgets. Okay. You need 10, that's entertainment. You're going to talk about your favorite music, okay? Uh, different types of instruments, okay? You need 11, reason to learn, okay? Talk about school, education, why are you learning, why are you studying, okay? Why you have to be in school, why you have to be at home, okay? This year, next year, not sure next year. Okay, number, and then the last topic is talk about the beautiful body, okay? Talk about your physical body okay and besides that okay you also need to acquire these four skills they are reading writing listening and also speaking okay uh, mesti kuasai all these four skills okay next i see my laser Okay, so here are the issues that you're going to cover. Okay, you still remember on how to write the email? Okay, email will be in question. Question one in your paper, paper two. Okay, I hope that you still know the technique of writing the email. Um, what else do you need to remember? Um, the number of words that you're supposed to use. Okay, um, the usage of cursive devices. Okay, and also kenjang, conjunctions, right, and fanboys, remember? I already helped you to shorten the word fanboys for and nor, but what else? Yet, so, and, okay, and then to review of a restaurant because this is uh, in topic two, okay, learn on how to write a review. In your textbook, you will see um, the sample of writing a review. Writing a review is very short, meaning that it will appear in question one, paper, paper two. Okay. Number three, okay, informal letter. You have learned the technique of writing informal letter, but it's okay. We're going to revise back, okay, on how to write the informal letter. And then you're going to write a story. Okay, that's a sample in the textbook on how to write the story. Okay, but it's very short for PT3. Try your best to write one and a half pages. From now on, you can start writing. One week, one essay. Satu minggu, satu essay. Uh, okay? Satu minggu, satu essay. One week, one, one essay. So that you get used. Okay? You can speed up your writing. Uh, then number five, postcard. Postcard is in paper. Paper two, question one. So you have... Email, postcard, 
review writing, notes or message. Notes or message, almost the same format. Sama je ya, notes or message. Ha, bila jumpa soalan note, jangan panik. Note so meaning referring to me, message, writing a message. Then you learn how to write a report. How to write a report, don't worry. Okay, I'm going to teach you on how to write the report. Okay, using certain uh, sentence structure given in the in the textbook. Writing a report ni technical writing. You have to follow the language structure in the textbook. Bukan sesuka hati lah. You have to follow, kena ikut. Okay, in the in the textbook. Okay, and then uh, dramatic story. Okay, how to write a dramatic story. Again, there is a sample, ada contoh. Jangan risau. There is a sample, ada contoh in the textbook. Okay, but your part is to try to write one and a half pages. Bahagian awak tu kena cuba tulis panjang sikit. Okay. Okay, so what is this green colour? is actually grammar. Lampar ke atas tu. Grammar. So, you learn on how to use countable, uncountable, countable macam biasa lah. Things that you can count, uncountable things that you cannot count but still we need to revise. Okay, kena ingat balik, refresh. Awak mesti lupanya. Okay, it sounds very simple. Okay, nampak looks very simple but you tend to make miss mistake. Mesti ada salah ya. Okay. Okay, then how to use used to. Macam nak guna used to. When to use used to. Would, what's different would used to. Be used to, get used to. Uh, almost the same. Used to, used to. The difference that be and get. But when to use. Okay. All these four. Bila nak guna. How to use. Okay. Articles. We revise by articles. They are a apa? In articles. A and and also the. Right? A and the. And sometimes in certain uh, certain sentence whereby you have to fill in the, uh, the gaps. You no need to use at all. Those three articles nak guna pun articles. Uh, so, there are rules. So, there is a rule to that. Temporal. What is that temporal? In the textbook, you will see the usage of temporal. Apa tu temporal? Okay, you can learn. You're going to learn that. Okay. Future tense. Besides future tense, we're going to write future tense je? No. You're going to revise back. Present simple, past tense. Past continuous, past perfect continuous, present perfect continuous, nah, semua lah tu. All those tenses. Uh, hopefully that you still remember. Yang basic lah you remember present tense, past tense, present perfect tense, past perfect tense, future tense. Okay. Uh, so these are the basic tenses. Six, second conditional. If, what is that second conditional? If, jangan cakap tak tahu because from one, from two, if you are not playing around in the class, okay, you you see the syllabus of zero conditional if, uh, first conditional, conditional if. Uh, so now form three, belajar second conditional if. Okay, you're going to see this again in form four because I'm teaching form four also. Ni semua ni, jumpa balik. Syllabus form four. Okay, but much more deeper. Okay, so what is that zero conditional? First conditional, uh, second conditional. Uh, when to use second conditional if. Uh, question text. Question text. Question lah. So Alan with the question mark. Are there positive question text? Uh, negative question text. Okay. Models, semi-models. Now what's the difference? Models, semi-models. You have models. Ni semi-models. So what's the difference? Okay. Passive voice. How to use passive voice? When to use passive voice? What is gerund? Okay. Semua so, similar to noun, betul ke? Sama similar to noun. Okay. Infinitive. Okay. I'm sure that you get used or, or get used to infinitive. Uh, model verbs. Okay. I hope you still remember macam mana aku ada model verbs. Okay. If you were with me, uh, set 1A. Hmm, this is my favourite ni model verbs. Okay. No S, no ED, no ING. Okay. Reported speech. When to use reported speech? Why are you learning reported speech? Sebab sini, remember, dekat the essay that we need to cover mana tadi report ni, report. Uh, report writing is a technical writing. Okay, you cannot simply use uh, your own sentence structures. You have to follow the rules here, reported speech. Okay, uh, 
Uh, then you will get higher mark. So that's why when you debate with your English teacher, you know, tak dapat marker tinggi because when it comes to report ni, report writing, informal letter, okay. Uh, it's the technical writing. Technical writing ni, there are certain sentences, certain language that you have to follow, penikut. Uh, you must include. Okay, if you don't have that, that's why your marks is not that higher. Okay. Bukan short sendiri tau, writing essay. Uh, you have to follow. Gerans, what is gerans? So here pembelajar gerans, this is also another gerans. Uh, okay. Number 12, comparison of adjective and also the ad, adverbs. Okay, when to use. Bila nak guna ni comparison of adjective and also the ad, adverbs. Okay, basic knowledge, adjective is to help the noun, adverb is to help the verb. Okay, look at the vocabulary. Collocations, what are collocations? Okay, you will see that in your textbook. Ada kat dalam textbook collocations. Okay, and then... Are you going to come up with a few examples of collocation words? Okay, you include that in your paper 2. All this thing masuklah dalam paper 2. Okay, when you're writing your dramatic story, your informal letter, report writing, you can use, okay? Prepositions, how many types of prepositions? Berapa jenis prepositions you've learned? Okay, kita revise back. When to use prepositions? What are the rules when you use prepositions? Preserve verb, almost similar like collocations. Okay, but there is a different. Uh, hampir sama tapi tak sama. Uh, so you have to, you have to be with us. Okay. Okay, next. Pentaksiran bilik dajah which is very important. Okay, sangat-sangat penting. Online and offline. Okay, form 3 ni memang penting. 1, 2, 3 actually is very important. Nani cakap, alah oh, cikgu tak penting pun. Salah if you want to be in a good class next year. Hmm. Uh, so, PBD is very important. Okay, apakah PBD? Pertaksiran bilik darjah merupakan pertaksiran yang berterusan dalam sesi pengajaran dan pembelajaran bagi mendapatkan maklumat tentang perkembangan, kemajuan awak, your kebolehan and pencapaian murid. Teacher copy this from the Kementerian uh, website. That's why it's written in bahasa Melayu. Tak perlu kita tolong the weaker ones in the group kan? It's because I want all of you, bukan? Students from 3K je. I want students from 3 Gaharu, 3 Jati, 3 Queen, 3 Meranti. Um, to get all, all A's and also band, band 6. So we help one another. We cannot be selfish. Tak boleh pentingkan diri sendiri tau. Right now we have to help one another. Okay, PBD berlaku secara formatif dan sumatif. Okay, sebagai pembelajaran. Untuk pembelajaran, you are learning and also tentang pembelajaran. Jaran. Okay, so how to execute this PBD? Okay, kau mungkin you giving me um, excuse. Cikgu tak face to face apa kata? One day kita face to face lah. Okay, uh, once the government lift up the MCO, kita akan jumpa lah. Okay, so you do all. Lah. Pray a lot. Okay, that you can meet all the teachers in school. Ni, uh, janganlah tak doa. Kena doa banyak-banyak sikit. Okay. COVID, COVID dah tak ada, dah kurang. Okay, so that we can go back to school. Okay, so PBD dilaksanakan secara berterusan sepanjang proses PDP or PDPR sepanjang tahun. PBD dilaksanakan oleh pelbagai kaedah pentaksiran seperti uh, permatian observation. Macam ni cikgu nak observe tu, your attitude towards uh, learning in Google Meet and also Google Classroom. Okay, asyik orang sama je hantar Google Classroom Orang yang lain semua tak hantar Mean you are showing me negative atti attitude Tak berubah lagi since form 1 Okay, remember this is your important year Okay, um, you don't pray that oh tak ada PT3 like last year Do you pray that or doang ke macam tu? <laughs> last year tu nasib je tu ha, This year tak tahulah because already have vaccine and then penulisan. Okay, your writing. Where to check to? Your Google Classroom. Uh, and then when we face to face, I'm going to check your exercise books. 
the thing this teachers will check your exercise book you have your index you update your index very well okay you complete your index you mark the answer sekarang kita nak check jawapan ni setiap you mark using your red pen okay you don't sign behalf of me sign uh, just take je nanti ya and then listen when you have discussion lah macam hari ni it start today ya bermula hari ni ah uh, melalui okay, kertas kerja uh, ker melalui kerja projek quiz uh, presentation and also other learning activities Okay, berdasarkan standard prestasi dan pertimbangan professional guru It's my professional judgement Okay, cikgu tengok bagus, cikgu nak ni since January Okay, always submit homework, update Update index, participate in discussion Tak adalah cikgu cakap dekat laptop ni seseorang Okay, you participate in the discussion Okay, so your teacher will give you high, higher band Okay Jangan nak dekat PG3 pun nak rayu baru nak nak tunjuk your talent lah. Uh -huh. Tak ada maknanya from now lah. From now. Okay. Next. Okay format PG3. Okay so you must remember format ni. Hafal from now. Okay. Paper 1 your code is 12 stroke 1. Ujian bertulis. Okay. Uh, cover page you will see pemahaman by right English dia reading and use of English jenis item you have objektif aneka pilihan objektif pelbagai bentuk subjektif response individu dia tak jawab berpasangan you have to jawab individu there are five sections okay refresh back your memory cikgu nak ingatkan awak semula format exam ah bahagian 1 eight questions section 2 eight questions Section 3, 8 question. Section 4, uh, 10. Section 5, 6. Okay. For paper 2, your code is 12 stroke 2. It's your penulisan, writing. Okay. Subjective response, response terhad and so so subjective response terbuka. Apa benda tu cikgu? Subjective response terhad ni bahagian 1. Okay. Remember, it's either email, postcard, message, notes. Oh, apa satu lagi? Review. Uh, okay. So that is subjective response terhad. Soalan kedua or second uh, section is about uh, isi whether you need to write informal letter, report writing, uh, dramatic story or just a normal story. Kat sini lah. Uh, so here you have to write one and a half pages. Tak dapat one and a half pages pun try your best to write one full, one full page. Okay, make sure different points, different para, paragraph. Uh, lain, lain apa? Uh, this point lah, your main point tu that you cannot combine. Okay, just remember my advice. Uh, X1, X1A lah, last two years. X1A and apa tak ingat lah. X1G lah. Okay. Okay, paper 3, your code is 12 stroke 3. It's your speaking paper. Okay, ujian listan. You have subjective response terhad, subjective response terbuka. Okay, yang ni buat berpasangan with your partner. So from now on, bolehlah you whatsapp your friend yang I nak partner with you. Then you practice kan whatsapp boleh uh, yang yang communicate with your friend. Uh, you practice with your friend. Okay, so I want you to choose your own partner from now. Nanti cikgu akan minta ya. Uh, siapa uh, pasangan awak nanti. Okay, so because we cannot wait uh, face to face, tak tahu bila ni face to face ni. So at least I have the uh, name list. Okay, because uh, I'm, te I'm teaching Trijati, Trigaharu. So nanti Trijati dan Trigaharu get ready ya. Eh. Okay, the monitor please get ready. Uh, siapa? Candidate A dengan siapa? Ali dengan siapa? Okay, uh, Abu dengan siapa? So you have to get ready with that name list lah. Eh. So, aware lah to monitor lah, all the monitors. Then section two, uh, eh sorry, section one is interview, meaning that the warming session. You still remember, cikgu tanya soalan, what is your name, what do you like to do after school hours, uh, it's the warming session. Bagi awak tak panik, okay. And then section two, um, berpasangan with your partner, right. You have picture, different pictures. 
and then student A starts first, describe the pictures and then student B need to answer student A's picture. Uh, macam itulah. You still remember the format? Uh, you will practice in the, in the class like two years. Okay, section three is a discussion test between the two of you. They'll give you a bubble map. Okay, and then you have to assign. Okay, student A, you take four. I'll take four, Ali take four. Towards the end, you have to tell me, you have to tell us which one is the best item. Ingat tak format tu? Kita buatlah masa form one. Okay. Okay, kertas four, your code is 12 through four is your listening paper. Okay, objektif aneka pilihan, objektif pelbagai bentuk, yang ni individu. You have bahagian one. Section one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So here tengok kat sini. Okay, ni paling penting ni jumlah markah. Okay. Uh, if we want to sit for the exam, kita kena ada strategi. Okay. So bahagian one, paper one, eight, eight and then uh, section three boleh tengok sini and total score is 40 marks. Okay, paper 2, section 1, 20. Bahagian 2 also 20. Kita tak ada literature ya. Ingat tak? Last year pun last two years tak ada literature. So that's why it's only one hour. Okay, paper 1, one hour and 15 minutes. Paper 2 is one hour. Kenapa pendek? Sebab two essays je. Ha, kalau ada literature tambahlah. One hour and 30 minutes. But we don't have literature. Uh, okay, so far kementerian tak tukar lagi format. If they want to change the format, we will inform you. Don't worry. Dia tukar je format, cikgu akan beritahu awak. Okay. Paper 3, okay, interval kita means referring to teacher, your English teacher. Okay. Uh, petaksi 1, they will give you 5 marks. The second assessor, let's say myself, petaksi 1. My second assessor is teacher Linda. Let's say teacher Linda lah. And then teacher Linda will give you marks from 1 until 15. Duration for this paper is 11 minutes. 11, 11 minutes. Okay. Paper 4. Okay. All the sections. Nampak tu? Each section 5 marks. Sama je markah dia. Okay. Total 25 marks. Okay. Duration for this paper 35 minutes. So tolonglah hafal. Paper 1 40 marks. 1 hour 50 minutes. Paper 2, 40 marks, 1 hour. Yang ni berapa minit? Okay, section 4, 35 minutes. Okay, you don't ask the same questions again many times throughout this year. Oh, suka tanya soalan sama lah every year. Okay, uh, buat print screen ni. Screenshot ke apa benda lah you are using um, laptop, print screen. Simpan. Okay, so that you remember. Nanti you be asking, cikgu ni berapa lama uh, marks? Tak boleh dah, you should know your strategy. Okay. Okay, now you need one family ties. Okay. Do you love your family? Do you love your family? Yes. I'm sure that all of you love your family. So, are the family members? Would you please get chat? Or you can unmute your mic. So, are the family members? Uh, they are father, mother, son, daughter. Okay, so let us check the answers. We're going to check your panel. Okay, David is Mary's grandson. Okay, you have completed. Tolong ni, check in your exercise book. Okay. Check in your exercise book. Yang guna laptop boleh check kat tab kan, different tab. Teacher, do we need to mark? Yes, of course. Charlie Stan Ying. Good question. Uh, please help us to mark. Okay, use red pen just that you don't sign. Tanda lah guna red pen. Tapi jangan uh, sign. Sign tu cikgu je. Okay. Make sure you update your index. Have you written the index? Number, number one lah today. Okay. And then topic, introduction and unit, unit one. Okay. Dates today lah. 20 apa today? 22nd kan? Ah, 22nd. January, January. Remark tu you write GC or GMIT. Uh, okay. But I already submitted in the GC. Tak apa. Later you check. Yeah, Charlies, you can screenshot the answers or print screen. Okay. Um, but have you update uh, updated your index, your exercise book? Uh, okay. Okay, good. 
Okay, so here are the un answers. Ni jawapan dia lah. Okay. George and Mary are Tom's parents. Uh, just speak randomly ya. Uh. Harry is Tom's brother-in-law. Okay, so what can you tell me about these hands? What can you tell me about these hands? It seems that different gener generation, right? Different generation. Okay, so look at these different generations. They are silent generation, 1945. Why silent? Because they don't like to talk. Ah, okay. Baby boomers. Okay, are you baby boomers? I don't think so. Look at the year. Okay, generation X. Ah, these are the years. Okay. Generation Y. Ah, look at the years. Start uh, 1977 until 1995. Generation Z. 1996 until now. So you are generation Z. Okay. So where am I? I am generation X. X-Men. Okay. Uh, so it's a different generation. Okay. So I'm sure that you have read this. Okay. Meet the ancestors. What makes you who you are? Okay. Part of your ancestors in your family's past, become a detective and find clues to your family history. history. Okay, I'm sure that you have read this, right? So look at the word focus, gene, generation, ancestors, genealogy, okay? Gene, part of a cell passed from parents to children that determine how they look. Okay, genetic, uh, okay, generation, generosity, ancestors, what is ancestors? Nenek Mo, Nenek Moyang, okay. Genealogy is a study, satu kajian about your family history. Okay, so allow me to speak two languages huh, because we combine in classes, okay. Ada yang weak, ada yang average, ada yang really good, okay. So we have one another. Huh? Okay, so please read. Have you read the text? Baca tak? Tadi kan kat Google Classroom, right? Okay. And also this is another text. Okay. So tips are reading the exam questions. Okay. So when you see the questions in your PD3, so you have to remember the rules. Okay, it's a good idea to read the exam sentences very carefully before you read the questions. Okay, and then underline the keywords in each statement. Underline the keywords ni garis setiap uh, kata kunci. Okay, so you know what information you need to look to look for. Okay, you don't underline all the words. Jangan garis semua, bukan semua penting. Only important words. Okay, then read the next, uh, read the text quickly so you know what is it about. Okay, yang tak faham ulang. You read again the text. Okay, sekali, dua kali. Tiga kali, but make sure don't go beyond one hour and 15 minutes lah because I'm referring to paper, paper one. Okay, read the text again and look for words and phrases in the text that are similar to the word you underline in each exam text. Okay, you refer, tengok balik text tu. Okay, check balik words, okay, and also phrases. Sama tak with the one, with the one that you underline tadi, okay. Last, the statements are in the same order as the information in the, in the text. Okay, so make sure you arrange the statement. You got flow lah. Paragraph one, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph two. Okay. Are you okay? Are you all okay? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Kayum, thank you. Tak apa ni. Sweet Nafa, Krisha. Okay. Any questions you can uh, write. Okay. Tulis kat situ. Cikgu ada baca ni. I'm using two devices. Laptop and also my handphone ni. Okay, task tu ni awak buat tadi kan. Okay, read the exam close up and then you have to identify true or false. Okay. Do we have this format in exam? Ada. In your paper, paper one. Okay, tak apa dia tukar sikit-sikit format. Okay, we look the way we do because of the genes in our DNA. So what's the answer? You can mark your own answer. Will you check jawapannya? Tak ada. Okay. Okay, number one is true. Number two is true. 
Uh, Koyum, teacher, can I use last year book to do the... Yes, of course. Tadi kan cakap presentation, my first slide. Okay, cikgu tak nak seksa awak. Okay, you can use last year, last year's book. Okay, uh, but the first two pages yang tu kat, mungkin kat bahagian tengah ke atau depan ke ada ruang lagi kan. Uh, the first two pages tu, you leave for the index. Okay, mesti buat index. You must write the index. Help me. Okay, because cikgu nak kena submit to the boss nanti your buku. Okay, no uh, books, no new books. Don't worry, use that spec. But once you get your book, tolong tampal. Please lah. Uh. Please paste those paper into the exercise books. Okay, uh, for now tak ada tak apa use that spec. Okay, number three is false. Number four is false. Five, false. Six true, seven false, eight false, nine true, ten true. You can screenshot the print screen ya, the answers. Okay. But make sure you do your homework first. Ah, uh, jangan nak senang. It's not more for my benefit. It's for your own good na. Ah, uh, don't cheat. Ada yang tipu nanti ni. Semua betul. Tak baca pun. Ah, uh, don't blame me. It's your fault. You have to be honest. God is watching you. Tuhan melihat awak. Okay. Task 3. Find the underlined words in the text and choose the correct meaning. Stay after the answer is to be like somebody. Uh, so make sure you do this task first. Jangan terus je. You should challenge yourself. Okay. Teman-teman Cikgu Hazin dah bagi jawapan. Uh, terus je ya. Tak jawab. Uh, nanti tak dapat. A for your English paper, don't blame us. Tuhan balas awak balik because menipu, okay? Okay, look like to have a similar appearance. Pass down, transfer to. Relative mean family member. Find out is to discover or to learn. And then look for is to try to find. Siapa hantar love, love je ni? Okay, next. Okay, yang ni lah tadi. Okay. You do task 1, 2 and 3. It's either in your test pad or in your previous grammar exercise book. Or it's number to write the index, the topic. Okay, what is the, uh, and then the task. Betul ke cikgu yang number kan? Eh? Number, topic, dates. Okay, whenever you, you submit or turn in your works in GC. And also index in your grammar exercise book. Mana-mana buku lah as long you have the index. Okay. Snap your work and submit in your Google Classroom. Okay. Your English teacher will check. In Google Classroom, don't expect me to check all. Okay. Your English, cikgu dah add collaborators, other English teachers in the group. So your English teacher will help me to check. Okay. Your homework. You understand or not? Uh, macam like me, I'm checking Tri Gaharu and Tri, tri Jati. Um. Okay. Because I already added them in the group. Okay. The other three teachers in the in the group. Okay. No need to go to GC. I'm going to share you the link here. Tengok dekat chat bar tu ya. Tak ya. Don't go out yet. Jangan pergi ke mana-mana. Stay here. Ah, cikgu Mazina dah share dah. <laughs> Thank you, cikgu. Ah, see tu, nampak tu. Okay, go to that Google form now. You must go to that Google form. It's one part of your pentaksiran. Okay, please go to that Google form. Once you fill up, you may leave this Google, Google Meet. So thank you for your cooperation just that hopefully in our next discussion, okay, we're able to discuss. But these are the time that we have, okay. Okay, please go to that uh, Google form. Once you fill up, you may leave this Google Meet, okay. Thank you students for your cooperation. Take a good care of yourself. Don't go anywhere. Because COVID is everywhere. I'm also staying at home. I didn't go anywhere because I'm afraid.
Yeah, it's true. I have to protect myself because I'm going to meet you in the class. Oh. If I have COVID and then you too will get COVID from me. Okay, so do take care. Thank you, students. Please go to the link now. You may leave this room. Get ready for your next subject. Your next subject is Agama, right? uh, Agama and Moral at 11. Okay, see you again next week, inshallah. Next week, I'll be in school. This week, I work from home. We take turns. Teachers, we do take turns in school. <laughs>